It's part of New York City folklore, like the alligators in the sewers, or buried treasure on Liberty Island. But the story of Ming, the 400-pound Siberian Bengal tiger living in Harlem, is far from a tall tale. Just ask Detective Martin Duffy. We first heard about it at the change of tour. The midnight guys were joking with us and saying we were going to have a good call for an animal job. That call originated when Ming's owner, Antoine Yates, went to the hospital claiming he was bitten by a pit bull. Doctors quickly realized it was no dog bite, and police responded to his five-bedroom apartment in the Drew Hamilton houses. We eventually cut some holes from the neighboring apartment into uh, the fifth floor apartment. They confirmed they had the tiger and the, and the caiman on, on camera in a, in a back room. Oh, that's right. Ming the tiger was not alone. He was living alongside a five-foot-long caiman named Al. On October 4th, 2003, the NYPD was tasked with removing the giant cat and lively alligator. After much strategizing and planning, the team decided that the best course of action would be to repel from above rather than to breach the apartment. We anchored our rope system on the seventh floor inside this apartment, and I was lowered from the seventh floor down to the fifth floor. Dozens of neighbors gathered as Duffy began his descent. I heard the tiger roar when I was like halfway down, and it was definitely a little, a little unnerving. While hanging by a single rope, Duffy took aim and fired a dart through the window bars. I took the shot, I hit him. When he got hit by the tranquilizer dart, he jumped up and he ran, and he ran away from me and hit the wall. And when he turned back and and kind of started lunging, that's when I could feel the building shake. When I saw that giant head and, and, the, and the teeth. That was the exact moment photographer John Rocca snapped this photo. What was going through your head in that point? I didn't want the tiger to come out and attack me. I didn't want the tiger to get out and possibly get down the ground and be loose here in the neighborhood. Were you afraid the tiger could have jumped and reached you? Were you that close? I was that close. Duffy was immediately lowered to the ground where he took a deep breath and ran right back up to see Ming. Cops loaded the tiger onto a gurney and carried him and Al the alligator down in a small confined elevator. Were you afraid he was gonna wake up? No, Maybe you're in this I, confined I wasn't afraid little... he was gonna wake up. It was honestly, it was magnificent to be like, we won't see tigers on TV or maybe at the zoo, but to be closer than you and I are right now to a 500 pound tiger was an amazing experience. I still love him and I still want my cat back. I still want Ming back. Antoine Yates pleaded guilty to reckless endangerment and served five months in prison. Ming and Al were both sent to animal sanctuaries. Ming died of natural causes in 2019. Duffy says it was a team effort that day, and looking back, he would only change one thing. Probably not be as uptight as I was that day, but that but that's natural. You're, you're, you're a young emergency cop, and you don't want to embarrass yourself with the unit. Everything else, I would have done the same. Duffy has now been with the department 26 years, but on that day 20 years ago, he certainly earned his stripes. Bree Driscoll, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.